Hi, I'm Joanna Popper from HP, and I'm thrilled to be here today to make a very special announcement. I'm joined by HP lead product manager, John Ludwig, and from Microsoft, we have Dr. Mark Bolas. We're so excited to be here at AWE talking to you about what we have in store and what's coming. Like most of you, our HP team has turned to VR more than ever during this time period to connect, to collaborate, to learn, to create, and to gain. And we're hearing the same from our partners and clients. In this collage you see, we're holding team meetings, making presentations, perhaps we even had design and quality review for the headset that we're gonna talk about in a little bit in virtual reality. And when our teams are not able to be in the office, we are able to meet in VR and have those virtual water cooler moments. We even had one of our employees who retired, we had his retirement party in virtual reality. Bon voyage, Louis, we miss you. We're tapping into the power of virtual reality to bring us together even when apart. The time for VR is now. All the trends show the acceleration of this industry we love so deeply. VR enables us to game. Our partners at Valve report that Steam VR had their record concurrent users during this time period. VR enables us to create. The prestigious consulting firm McKinsey says that VR is the key to employee productivity. And I love this quote. They go so far as to say, giving employees a computer, a keyboard, and a mouse, but not a VR headset is hobbling their productivity. We believe that too. VR enables us to collaborate. Our partners at Future Visual report that they're able to work with and be with others to create efficiencies and workflows and drive higher quality outcomes and ROI. VR enables us to learn. We all know that VR drives incredibly high retention rates. And now when nearly 90% of the population is out of their schools and 25 to 30% of our workforce will be working from home, they're expecting into 2021 we need great virtual reality technology to enable the, these powerful experiences. And today we're here to bring you this great virtual reality technology. HP, together with our partners at Valve and Microsoft, bring you our next generation headset. We're so excited about this collaboration. HP, we bring you the world's most comprehensive commercial VR platforms. Valve brings the cutting edge technology, seamless integration with Steam VR and best in class optics and audio. And Microsoft brings the industry leading six staff tracking and integration into Steam VR. And now I'll turn it over to John Ludwig to walk you through the details of the new HP VR Reverb Generation 2. Thanks, Joanna. Let's talk product now, folks. Uh, so last year we came out with the Reverb G1. Uh, it had a big focus on commercial customers with the high resolution of 2160 by 2160 per eye and the large sweet spot of the lenses so the customer could get it on quickly and get a very good experience. This year we're coming out with the Reverb G2 uh, and the goal for it is to have the best immersive experience possible for every user. Um, when we came out with the Reverb G1, after we did that, you know, Valve tested it out and they came to us and said, hey, we think with some, some work, with some of our technologies and some iterative work together, we can make an amazing VR headset for gamers and other immersive experiences. So that's how the Reverb G2 came about. We're going to take you through the visuals, the audio, the natural input, the ergonomics, and the ecosystems here over the next few minutes and talk to you about this product. First up, visuals, of course. We have brand new LCD panels this year, still 2160 by 2160 resolution per eye. However, the actual pixels and panels themselves have improved immensely. So brand new panels, they have higher contrast, higher brightness, uh, but they also have reduced persistence at the same time to give you a smoother experience when you're in VR. But probably the most important improvement we have on the LCD panels is that with the first generation reverb, we had some perceived mirror, which gave you the effect of looking into the VR world through a pair of dirty glasses or dirty goggles, as, not, as each pixel gives slightly different color temperatures. With these new LCD panels, we've improved both the contrast and brightness, 
but we also reduce the persistence to give you a much smoother experience in VR. Um, but one of the biggest improvements is the reduction of perceived mirror. With our first generation, uh, there was a decent amount of perceived mirror, so it looked like you were looking into another world through a pair of dirty glasses or goggles. Um, with these new panels, that perceived mirror is gone, uh, so no longer look like you're looking through something, but rather just looking into a new world for an increase in immersiveness. Beyond that, of course, we have to talk about the optics, and those Valve has really helped us with here. Obviously, they've been making optics for quite a few years now and one of the leaders in technology here for VR. And they've designed these new optics just for our headset, uh, as well as the calibration to match up with our LCD panels. These optics have focused on angular resolution and having clarity to the edge. It's a big improvement year over year for us. And of course, when you're trying to get the best visual experience, you wanna match up the center of the optics to the center of your eyeballs, which means we have to have mechanical IPD adjustment. So we've added mechanical IPD adjustment 60 to 68 millimeters to make sure that a user can put it on and match up the center of those optics, the sweet spot to wherever your eyes are. As we move on to talk about audio, um, we put a lot of effort into audio. Uh, not only is the most ex important experience for immersiveness visual, but also we got to hit all your senses. And if you recognize these speakers, you might say, hey, those look a lot like the, the speakers off of a Valve Index, which would be true because we've worked with Valve to take the BMR drivers and uh, associated parts and just graph them onto the Reverb G2. So if you've gotten a great audio experience with Valve Index, you have a pretty idea of what you're getting here. Uh, these still sit about 10 millimeters off your ear, so you get a very comfortable experience with nothing touching your ears. They have great bass response, um, and overall throughout the entire frequency, they have great response. So as you get amazing spatial audio, so you can locate things in 3D. It's important as well to talk about natural gestures, and this is one of the biggest improvements we made to this headset, uh, going from two to four camera windows mixed reality tracking. Uh, this enables over two times the controller tracking volume uh, by moving to four cameras. And what that allows you to do is track your arms wherever you're putting them. I think one of the biggest moments for me is in playing Half-Life Alex. I've been playing through quite a bit of it using the Reverb G1 and there's a lot of grenade throwing in it and just a lot of throwing of objects. And when I was throwing objects in Half-Life Alex previously, I always have to keep my hands in front of me with the two camera tracking. So throwing things like a discus or granny style. Um, now, however, with the four cameras, I can do full arm motions, throws if I was a pitcher in baseball, and everything just works. So again, all about immersiveness. You can now use those natural gestures you're used to doing in real life here in VR with four camera tracking. Of course, now that you have better tracking, you're going to want better controllers too. So that's why we have brand new controllers. Uh, we have made big improvements in the ergonomics. Uh, so these fit much more comfortably in your hand for those long gaming sessions. We've also changed the control layout uh, to be more industry standard, replacing the trackpad with A, B, and X, Y buttons, as well as making the analog grip, uh, the grip into an analog button um, rather than just a digital one or zero. Overall, between these two, uh, natural gestures have been improved immensely. Uh, generation over generation, we now feel that we are a, a leader in your control input. We, of course, also want to talk about ergonomics. Uh, that was a big focus for us in our first generation headset. And with the Reverb G2, we spent a lot of iterative design cycles with Valve and Microsoft, making sure we have the most comfortable headset out there. Of course, it's not all about physical comfort. It's also about how your eyes feel. And that's another place where manual IPD adjust is very important. So not only are you getting a clearer image, but you're matching up the viewports of your content to where your eyeballs are to have a more comfortable experience for long sessions of VR. On the physical comfort, uh, we have brand new magnetically attached face cushion. Uh, it actually has flexible plastic. So as you put it on your face, it, it closes around your face a little bit, um, providing a great seal against light as well as a more comfortable fit. Uh, we also have a brand new head, rear headband design. Um, we've been going through quite a few iterations with Valve on this one. Uh, and as you'll notice, it looks a lot closer to an index headband um, on the back there now. In addition, uh, we've had a focus on making sure we can easily clean these. So we've removed the front and back decorative fabric on the device from the, that we had in the first generation. And we have optional accessories for purchase that are wipeable, 
face mask as well as rear headband so that we can get a very cleanable device uh, for good sanitization. One of my favorite secret features, if you can call it that, of this headset is the 90 degree flip feature that allows for quick and easy in and out of VR. So the headband rotates vertically to 90 degrees to the device. So you can easily put the headset up to your face and down without having to deal with the headband getting in your way. Or you could, if you're a glasses wearer like me, you can put it on and then rotate the rear headband into place. Um, this is a really convenient feature that has kind of exceeded all of our expectations for how useful it would be in everyday usage of VR. Uh, beyond the design of the headset itself, uh, we also have a new cable that connects directly into the headset. Still removable, still replaceable, uh, but no inline connector anymore. Um, it's now six meters long. It's a single barrel, so it can bend in any direction. With that, you'll end up with a very comfortable headset allowing for extremely long play sessions. And finally, we've actually doubled the size of the padding around the headset, which means that while the weight hasn't increased gen over gen, we have decrease the actual pressure it places on your face. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Dr. Mark Bullis from Microsoft to talk a bit more about this partnership. Thank you, John. I began in the field of VR at NASA Ames Research Center to explore how it could be used to provide an immersive view for complex fluid dynamic data, a really hard problem. The displays were 340 pixels each, but they were enough to start exploring this new medium. It was a really exciting time for me. At Microsoft, I'm equally excited to be working with a team that has partners that integrate technologies that can provide experiences ranging from problems as hardcore as fluid dynamics, but you can also find Minecraft and you can find the Steam VR catalog in which you find plenty of just gleeful abandon. In our first release of Windows Mixed Reality, we have the opportunity to use inside out tracking from the HoloLens to make the HMD that you can just plug into your PC and off you go with full six degrees of freedom, not only for positional tracking, but also for spatial audio. Audio surrounds us just as much as the graphics. With the four cameras on the new reverb, the controller tracking is even more of an extension of our hands, making the feeling of immersion that much stronger and the applications it can target that much broader. You can't imagine how excited I am to now see all of this come together in a head-mounted display one that has 50 times more pixels than my first VR experience. Thank you very much. Back to you, John. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Um, one thing we want to make clear is that this is a Windows Mixed Reality headset as its base platform. Uh, how we've been working, especially with Valve putting their name on this, we've been working closely with Valve and Microsoft to make sure the Steam VR experience uh, is as close to a native experience as possible for the Windows Mixed Reality platform. Uh, if you've been playing with Windows Mixed Reality Platform in the past few months, you'll know some amazing updates come down, uh, and we expect to see those amazing updates continue as well to improve the Steam VR experience. Now we want to talk a little bit about competition, uh, and here we have a comparison to the Oculus Rift S. Um, we believe the Reverb G2 provides the ultimate and immersive experience for VR, thanks to having two and a half times the resolution of the Rift S. Um, Along with that, of course, we have the mechanical IPD adjustment from 60 to 68 millimeters and the headphones that provide a vastly superior audio experience. Combine all those uh, and you're getting a much better immersive experience uh, with a Reverb G2 this generation. And of course, I have to plug our PCs as well. Uh, we have the world's smallest VR Ready 15 inch notebook launching this fall alongside the HP Reverb G2. Uh, the ZBook Create goes, comes with up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super, um, and it will definitely be my notebook of choice here in the coming year, uh, allowing me to bring around my Reverb G2 and a notebook to power in a small, easy to carry lightweight package. And that's it for the details on the product. Um, and now I'll pass it back over to Joanna for some final details before we hit Q&A. Thank you, John. We're so excited about this new headset. And today, we're announcing that pre-orders are starting in North America. So run out, run to the websites, both the hp.com as well as the Steam site. You can put in your pre-order for North America. The other regions, select countries around the world, will be rolling out starting in mid-June and through July.
Hi. Hi, Joanna. Hi. How great to see you all. Yes. We're thank so you. excited. It's an exciting yeah, day so for us all. So are we, and we've got uh, time for just one question. And um, here's the question from our audience. John Westra is asking, in light of the runaway success of the Oculus Quest, what do you see as a place for tethered roaming VR um, HMDs? Um, and do you see the Reverb G2 kind of free roaming solution being tied to your HP backpack? Cool, I'll go. Uh, <laughs> no. Everyone else jump in whenever you're ready. Um, so for us, Right now, we think there's a wide variety of different customers in the VR space. It's not just gonna be a winner take all, but it's more like some customers are gonna want the ease of use of the Quest, and some are gonna want the excellent resolution and the highest fidelity VR experience of something like the Reverb G2. But all in all, the VR is a big space that's growing rapidly, and there's gonna be a room for everyone to innovate in different ways. And Reverb G2 is our latest innovation. I think this awesome. is about mixed reality. So if we think about reality, that's everything, right? We're, we have to simulate everything. So all sorts of different compute platforms are going to be needed in different form factors and different applications as we slowly have reality become mixed. Love it. Great. And can let me just ask you, what's, what, what's the most exciting feature for you? What, what are you most excited about with, the, with this new iteration? <laughs> Personally, I like the mechanical IPD. Gives you better clarity, keeps you more comfortable for long sessions. Yeah, we also would like to say we're resolu resolution junkies too. So we, we're super excited about to have the super high resolution and the even improved optics that have been a new valve design. So we're super excited about that. The way we look at it is, you know, we, there were a lot of things that were great about Reverb Generation 1, and we heard the feedback from all of our enterprise customers, from all of the gaming, uh, the, the, all the gamers who bought the headset, and we heard that there were certain things that they wanted to tweak. And so we took the great things about the headset, such as the Windows Mixed Reality tracking, the inside out, easy to get in, easy to get out, and a very, very high resolution, and the ergonomics and then we went and improved upon all the things that that people had asked us to improve upon so we're super excited about this today. awesome well we're gonna have to wrap it up just remind uh folks once again how can they get their hands on one of these new devices well yeah, so we're going to be shipping in the fall. The, we're doing a, 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 a staggered pre-order. Um, and so those will be starting in the US shortly. And they will be starting in select countries through mid-June and rolling out through July. Uh, so if you're in one of those countries, then you'll be able to pre-order ahead. Um, and there will be, a, there'll be shipping globally in the fall. And we're going to head over to our booth. I know we, did, we really didn't have a lot of time for questions, and there's a lot of, there, I'm sure there's a lot of questions that people have. So we'll be in our booth. If you want to join us, you can, uh, I think, pop on the sponsor page and then hit HP, and you can find us in our booth, at ask some Q&A. And we also have some other great events happening today. We're doing an 11 a.m. Uh, Instagram Live on the HP account, so you can join us there if you have questions. We're doing a 1 p.m. Uh, in our Reddit, in our HP Reverb subreddit, so you can get questions answered there. And then we'll be doing a great event with Microsoft this afternoon at 4 o'clock, all these times I'm saying are Pacific. 4 p.m. Pacific, we're doing a fireside chat with Microsoft. So join us in all these afternoons. Awesome. Love it, Joanna. Thank you so much for being here um, and have an amazing afternoon. Thank you. Congrats on a successful conference in a virtual first virtual AWE.